Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Happy New Year. Happy 2022. Yeah, Happy New Year. As we say goodbye to 2021, we welcome 2022. Now, 2021 was a difficult year and I have to admit it was the worst ever. It really, really was. It was a difficult year. And I think it was a, it was a difficult year for a lot of people, but I think for anybody who has lost somebody, that year I think they will always remember. 21, 21 will always stand in my mind is the year I lost my nan. Now, this Christmas was always going to be difficult and was always going to be really, really challenging without my nan because nan was always the centre of attention at Christmas. Christmas is so, so magical and incredible things happen around the Christmas season and that spirit and that zest and that just that happiness and just that sense of of family and everybody coming together and Christmas quite basically magically bringing everything together so beautifully and without Nan it was certainly different it was still as precious as Christmas always is and we certainly cherished every single moment I was spoiled rotten by my parents and I had some amazing amazing stunning stunning gifts and I was really certainly completely taken back by some of my gifts and really really spoiled and blown away by some of the gifts and, and some of the things I received my amazing family certainly did make Christmas very, very special. It was really great to come together. It really was. Christmas Eve, we spent at my brother's and my sister-in-law's with my niece and nephew. And that was really, very lovely. It really was lovely to start Christmas off so amazingly. And it really was very, very lovely to see the whole family there. And it was really, very nice. My brother and his partner and my niece didn't didn't uh, didn't come on that day, but I seen them on Christmas Day, which so wonderfully sort of mirrored the whole essence of Christmas, really, that that it doesn't quite have to be just so on that day, because amazingly, we get to have another day just afterwards to catch up with friends, to catch up with family and yeah, just to really make it very, very special. So Christmas Day was really wonderful. Christmas morning, um, where everybody wasn't quite up because it was um, a very, very uh, late evening. Um, it was just me and my mum fussing in the morning, which was absolutely lovely. Um, I watched Christmas Midnight Mass on Christmas Eve, so it was a very late night. I don't think I went to bed till about three o'clock, and I was up very, very early Christmas Day. Um, the presents, the excitement, the gifts, and the, the preparations for the dinner coming along, and it was just amazing it really really was very very special but just to take a moment with something just as pleasant as just christmas coffee with my mum just chatting nattering about my nan and going through all wonderful things was very very magical and was beautiful christmas day was with my dad and my mum and my brother and in later on throughout the day we seen my twin brother, his partner and my niece. It was a really, really wonderful day. Boxing Day was very much the same. That was really, really lovely. And then throughout the, the rest of the week, we've seen family uh, in between and having sort of a few festive drinks and a few nibbles and luxuries and things. And it was really, really lovely. Good film, good company. And uh, not me filming, by the way, good films on TV, which I absolutely love. It always takes me back to being a child. I love all the animated films on TV. But Christmas isn't all about TV and it's not all about gifts either. It's just so wonderfully sort of, I suppose it's that just taking taking a breath almost, taking that moment out of how busy all of our lives is and just spending time with the ones who mean the most to you and enjoying time as though it's really, really slowed down. Even the most simplest of things can be really quite magical at Christmas time. So Christmas was really, really lovely this year. I was heartbroken throughout all of it. Of course I was. My nun is my world and my mum knew this. My, my mum is very very dear to me very very close to me as it is both of my parents my mum is a best friend to me and my nan was the same and it was her mother as well so in a way of course of course it's it's my grandmother but my mum losing her mum of course yes i felt awful and yes i felt heartbroken but i often looked at my mum and thought what she was thinking too christmas 
brings joys and sorrows. It really, really does. Christmas is not an easy time for a lot of people. Christmas brings a whole host of emotions, and particularly if you've lost somebody. So my heart goes out to you, and I wish you, yes, the best for the next year ahead. But for you, it won't necessarily feel like a very happy new year, because to me, it doesn't. Do you know what? I felt going into 2022, um, waiting to see the new year in, as my nan would say, Without my nan, it felt like that I was leaving her behind. It was my twin brother which reminded me that she's always with us. And what my nan sacrificed for in her early days in her life and when she was in the land army, for me to be able to enjoy, for us all to be able to go on and enjoy a very full and prosperous life. But without my nan there to kiss on the cheek or to give a hug, the new year felt very, very cold, very strange and very isolating. It really did. I couldn't wait to see my mum and my dad this morning to wish them a happy new year. And as I walked into our lounge this morning, as they were both sat there, it really did bring a smile that I've been gifted with such amazing, wonderful parents in this life. And yes, my nan is not with me, but she is with me up above. And as she looks down on me, I hope that she'd be proud. For you, why am I doing this? It's New Year's Day and the Christmas season means so very much to me, as it does a lot of people. Do you know what? I'm quite weary about going into the new year. What do I want out of the new year? So I want to finish my studying this year. I study in finance and accountancy, and I'm doing some business management courses and things in the background as well. So I want to finish all of that. I also want to not worry about life so much, and I want to enjoy life for what it is. If you're not sure what that means, I'm somebody who will worry about every single aspect. And in the mean, and in that time of worrying, I often miss out on on the things which is going on. And it could be just the simplest of things, which is often the most important and the most cherished and the most precious. I also want to enjoy the journey along the way. So I know my goals in life, I know where I want to be. The big house, the amazing wife I'd love, I haven't yet met my future, future Mrs. Roderick. And you never know, this year could be the year. But instead of striving for that journey and that, that top end of the career and everything, that end goal, I have to always often remind myself to, to enjoy the journey along the way. Because often, that's just the best bit, isn't it? I wonder what you'll be doing this new year. I wish you good health. I wish you happiness. I wish you prosperity and all those wonderful things for you and your family if you're watching this. And whether you're watching this today, whether you're watching this tomorrow or in a year's time, I hope that you're well and I hope that you're healthy. The past couple of years have been really, really difficult regarding COVID, haven't they? They really have been. They stopped me from spending precious time with my nan before I lost her. I've seen her, of course, but there was a glass between us. That will always be something which will be very, very bitter to me. And I know a lot of people have lost people, lost loved ones, treasured people, family members. And I know that a lot of people would have had absent places at their Christmas tables this year. Do you know, I said that last year and never in a million years would I have thought that my nan wouldn't have been present in this Christmas. Yes, she was older and never ever would I say old because old means so end of, so final. And what my nan inspired me was that no matter how old she got, no matter what year it said on her birthday cake, she wasn't ever gonna give up. She wasn't ever ever gonna give in. She would always face each day with strength, with willpower and determination that she would be in control and that she would have courage to face each day. And Anne taught me that you have to work hard in life for the things which we want most. She also taught me to always look your best because you never ever know who you're going to meet. Nan taught me so much. But now this year, as she took her step in her life or what had to happen next, she said, my grandfather with the Lord up above. I miss her every day. And what that teaches me is that this life is, no matter how old my Nan was, and she was just shy of 95, so in my heart she was 95, and she's at peace in her 95th year. Well, just because she was 95 doesn't mean that it was her time to go. Yes, of course it was, but just because of age, even though my nan was 95, for me that was still far too soon. It really, really was. But what she taught me is that we shouldn't take nothing for granted, and that no one any one of us, and I heard this many years ago as well, nobody is promised a tomorrow, but never to take things for granted, to love and cherish family as that's the most important thing in this life. 
but to keep going, no matter what's ahead, if it's good, if it's bad, if we know, if we don't know, if we're troubled, if we're stressed. We face each day with a smile, with a good attitude, with a helpful attitude, and to love and cherish those around you, and be nice to everyone you come come to meet. Why wouldn't you? And Anne taught me that we have one life. Why wouldn't you want to spend it doing good? And that's what I intend to do. As you can tell, my Nan was an absolutely incredible, incredible soul, a beautiful lady, and a teacher, a guide, a loving mother, a loving grandmother, and so many wonderful things. I wish she was here today. You've probably got a different story to me, and you've probably got a heartbreak just like me. But as we go into the new year, I wish you the very best of luck, the very most happiness, a lot of love, and a lot of a lot of goodness, all those wonderful, great things. So let's not take anything for granted, but let's keep smiling and let's take one step at a time. Don't think too far ahead because tomorrow it's not ours to worry about just yet. So control and worry about today. God bless. And this year ahead is going to be amazing. I can just feel it. There's going to be lots coming ahead on my channel. I hope you'll be there to join me. Thanks very much. And until next time, a very, very happy new year to you. And I hope you and your family have a very prosperous, wonderful, healthy 2022. Bye for now, and I'll be seeing you real soon.